may have shut out Devon Alexander. I mean, he shut out, shut out the world-class boxer. It's one thing to shut out kind of, you know, a second-tier fighter or, you know, kind of a plotting type fighter, but, I mean, he's made Devon Alexander look ordinary, and Alexander is not an ordinary boxer. He's not an ordinary contender. This guy is a two-division champion for a reason, so. I think maybe he's exceeded some expectations. I think most of us thought, saw this as a toss-up fight. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's you know, a competitive fight. I think a lot of people gave a slight edge to Khan. I know I did, mm -hmm. based on his track record against boxers, but I didn't think he would perform this well against Alexander. Well, I think the thousands of Brits here in Vegas might disagree with you. Amir Khan, just 15 seconds or so away from a shutout, only the third man to beat Devon Alexander, and it's been comfortable. Talk now to who you may face next, Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, or even a battle of Britain against Kelbrook at Wembley. Arms in the air there from Khan before the bell has even gone, and that is it, a mature victory for Amir Khan, who has gone from a 17-year-old Olympic silver medalist, a boy, to a man. No wonder his dad's proud. Cut! All three in favor of the winner, Amir Sport. I think now it's come to find the leaving a legacy and find the top names in boxing. I think world titles can come and go. I don't think they mean much. I, I've won them previously. Um, but it's just nice to win a world title as well. But like I said, look, before I do retire, I am definitely going to have another world title. I'm here today to meet the children in the Doha College. I was a good kid in school, obviously, um, when I was at the age of eight, quite hyperactive. And uh, I used to misbehave in school at that age. As soon as I started to box, I mean, my whole attitude in school changed. I started to behave, I started getting phone calls from school saying, what have you done to me and my parents? Our parents' evening, when they visited the school, this, the teachers used to say, it's, it's changed so much. I mean, you must have done something special. What have you done? And then all it was is, was I went to the boxing gym and I diverted my energy into something positive. But um, I was a good school kid. I, I used to always work hard, study hard. Hope you guys are all working hard, go to a lot of schools and do speak to the kids on how important it is to go to school and to work hard. Because even though I was a boxer, um, at the age of, you know, when I was at the age of 12, 13, 14, I kind of knew that boxing was going to be my career. And I kind of knew that I can go far in the sport, but I still, you know, worked hard in school. I did all my homework, did, did, you know, my revision for exams. I worked hard in school because you still have to be educated and I think education is very really important so you guys you might be involved in sport or whatever it is but work hard in school because for me looking at it now it's like a good battle god forbid you know, I'm in a sport where anything can happen I can break a hand I can get hurt uh, I might never be able to fight but at least my education will get me out there to do for example TV work um, or, or you know speaking to people, going to the conferences, um, talking about my sport boxing. So that's why I said education is very important. And nobody likes to revise. I mean, I used to hate revising. But the thing is, you have to. You know, it's one of the things. The more you spend reading the books and everything, the more it's going to help you in the future. So always chase your dreams. Never give up. You know, keep working hard in school. You know, you have to work hard at home and work hard towards your sport. But never give up. That's where most people go wrong. 